Hello everybody, this is Aldi from Board Game Geek, and I'm going to play Circadian's First Light. I've got the box cover. So this is a game that came out, uh, I guess it came out last year pretty early in the year with a Kickstarter, and then Renegade published it. Uh, this is the Renegade version. Um, and I know a lot of people have um, not enjoyed the art on this game, but I quite enjoy it, and I quite enjoy the game. So I'm going to try to take you through it gonna take you through it one way or another um so let me cut to the overhead of hit this game here we go let me put my computer away and thanks everybody for watching this is being uh broadcast live on twitch and then i'm gonna upload it to board game geek and you'll probably be watching this on board game geek so here we are we are um humans that have discovered this planet of aliens um and we are trying to work with them and trade with them and gain victory points, of course. Uh, in the solo game, normally you would be playing against other humans, right? So every person would pick a character here and they're all special abilities, but they are human. Um, and then you would play against each other. It's a dice, it's, it's, a, it's a dice worker placement game with a planning phase. Um, this is my engineering board. Um, I, have to, I have to do a little bit more setup here. So you play eight turns, and the, the last turn is always the same. It's always the same event card. So I'm going to add seven more to that. And I'm just shuffling these up. And some of these events are good, and some are bad. So you don't know what you're going to get. The green ones are good. Uh, red ones are bad. Huh? That's all. Wow, that would have been a great deal. I should have just dealt off the top there. Uh, the red ones are not good. Typically make things harder for you. So let me just shuffle these up real quick. So, as I said, the game's a dice worker placement game. Uh, in the solo ver version I'm playing, all of the um, engineering boards that I'm using to keep track of my stuff, on the back is an AI. Uh, they're almost, they're basically all the same, except they score differently. So I'm playing against the, the Zhao. They're robots that have, like, turned on. <laughs> There's some story to it. Read the rules if you want to see the story. Um, they're sentient robots. You know what? I'm going to straighten out a little bit here. Oh, I need seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those go on top. So it's an eight turn game. Uh, let me uh, rearrange here. I'll go, I'll give a quick overview of what you're doing, then I'll just kind of jump right in. Um, this game is about resources and harvesting resources and collecting resources and then trading them in for either items or negotiation with the locals which are the alien races that make up the planet these are the three uh they're very hard to say so i'll just go i'll probably say yellow green and red but for now i'll give you the names it's charo g charo zacharo larian and jeriak which are these three guys up here um i'm not sure the gender is actually i'll just say guys because that's easy uh, i'll say them um so Negotiating with them is a way to get victory points. And when you place worker dice, the workers are dice in this game. So you start with three. I'm going to give myself three dice. Three colonists, I guess. And the AI also gets three. Um, you put them in these little planning phases here for the AI. The dice on the AI don't matter. Basically on a card, the, a there's a, the AI runs on a deck. And as I flip a card, they will get a die roll. So any dice they play will be a four. That's kind of cool. I like that. Because you don't have to actually roll the dice and leave things to randomness there. Um, yeah, this playmat is a... Uh, I got it from the Fantasy or Fantasy Flight um, pre-ordering the Lord of the Rings game. So, yeah. So the way you get points in this game is by placing dice on the workers, or sorry, negotiating here. These dice will stay here. They do not return to you. They are negotiating with the alien, the local life, and they are worth different amounts of victory points. Usually the higher up on this track, you, the more resources you spend to negotiate, uh, the more points you'll get. get. Second way to make points is um, placing dice in the depository. These are dice that are also permanently traded for items, and I think I start the game with five items off the top of the deck. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it is a carbonated mineral water, by the way. Uh, salt mineral water carbonated, I wonder. 
So I get to five items and I'm gonna discard two of them. So I start with three in my hand. I'll go through these in a minute. Some of these are good and some, some are good for the game and some are good for end game points. I also start with a character and I think I was gonna play this one, Rosalind Ashford. She has a fantastic special ability, which I'm gonna, might be overpowered, but who knows, we'll see. Um, it felt powerful to me. Basically at the end of a turn, at the end of each round, I gain one die if I have less than five. So notice here on the this my engineering board, I can ha only have five max. So she will give me a die every time at the end of the turn that I'm less than five. Which so I can't have more than five anyway. So why not? Like she's just going to basically give me one. Cool. I'm um, just checking the chat here to make sure everything's cool. Um, so she's pretty strong. She will give me a die if I have less than five at the end of each round. That's a pretty strong ability. Um, and the way this game flows is we do a planning phase first. And it's kind of, there. well, technically there's an event revealed. I wish that was sort of printed on here, like with an E or something, uh, for the round. And then you plan, and then you execute actions. So you plan first, and in the multiplayer game, you would each, you would each do an action, right? So you would you take your plan and put out the dice. Now, if... You're playing multiplayer, someone could take your spot. And that's sort of what happens here with the solo game. The AI will take actions by the, using these cards, and they will be random. Um, and they will try to take a lot of different actions. They will, they will very rarely not take an action. Um, and if they do, they gain a crystal, which is a, a resource in the game. So, um, And as I said, it's a dice worker placement game. The dice placed here and here are permanently lost. However, all of these come back to you at the end of each round, all the ones placed up here and in this place called the headquarters, which is another um, where to place where you can place dice. Um, so I'll just quickly go through, uh, just briefly summarize what each one does. The academy is how you get more workers. So notice, depending on how much how much um, how many resources you spend, will give you one or two workers. There's three resources in the game. Actually, there's four. There's water, algae, and power. There's also these red crystals, uh, which are used as a resource when purchasing items and, or negotiating with these uh, Jiraiac people. Um, okay, so that's the academy. That's how you get more workers. I'm probably going to ignore the academy this game because I will be getting a free worker at the end of every turn, potentially, if I have less than five. Uh, the mining camp lets you trade um, water for crystals. Depending if you if you give sixteen water, you um, will gain two crystals, and if you give eight uh, six water, you will get one crystal. That's correct. So, and then you subtract off the die roll. So if I put a six there, I will take six water off the cost. So I would only have to pay ten or nothing to get two or one crystal. Sixteen for for two crystals seems crazy high. Why wouldn't it just be eight? But I don't know. So. That's a place to go when you have lots of water and you want some crystals. Uh, control room. I'll skip the control room because that ties into the overworld map um, for now, but that's basically how you're gonna move around the map. You have these things called harvesters. Let me come back to that. Um, this is the foundry, which I did not shuffle up actually. Let me, let me give it a little bit of shuffle because I played it the other night and I just left them there. So I kind of want to give it a little, little bit more randomness. Well, I did stack them up randomly. Um, when I put it away, so maybe they are random. The foundries let you upgrade your garages. So at your engineering board, you currently have these garages. Um, when you place an upgrade in, you will cover up the leftmost empty one, and that will give you a special ability. In case, in fact, this one basically lets me ignore the algae costs for piloting a ship. So if I place a worker here and I place a worker here, this one will get this special ability, which is plus or minus a pip off the die. This one lets me ignore the algae costs. So these are kind of nice to like make it cheaper for you to go do actions. These are where your, your workers will be deployed from. So I could also deploy from here. However, I'm going to have to pay two algae as a penalty for making people work, I guess. All right, I'm just going to and put this back on the bottom. Okay. So that's what the foundry does. Let's you get upgrades for your garages. 
the market lets you trade goods. Uh, sometimes you're short goods, sometimes you might need something. You can go to the market and you can do this circular trade. You can do four algae for two power, two power for a, a crystal, a crystal for four algae or vice versa. It's cool, it goes either way. This one lets you trade water for power or algae and algae and power for water or algae for power based on those quantities. Uh, the next location is the laboratory, which lets you build farms. Notice you have a section for farms down here. You currently have three farms like already on the board. Um, and they are activated by, since they have like a little hollow white thing, you can place a dice here and that will activate it. Um, if, depending on the number you play on the, on the farm, gener determines how much resources you will generate for that farm. So this farm is a water and algae farm. So based on the six that I placed, I will either get eight water or four algae, I choose. Same with this, this is four placed here, so water, I will get six water or one power. I think this is a four player game, Jared. I'm not mistaken, let me check the box lid. You would think that might be there. Yes, it is a two to four player, sorry, it's one to four. 60 to 90 minutes and ages 12 and up. I've only played it solo so far. I don't know, I might try it for uh, multiplayer, but um, I kind of don't, man. I think I talked about this the other night. I don't love worker placement games where you have to pre-plan. However, this one's not so not so bad. Because if you're playing with four, you're definitely gonna get bottled up here. You're gonna, you're gonna run into each other. You might not be able to do your action. Lots of different problems can happen. I don't love that kind of game, but it's okay. Uh, in the solo play, because only this guy will tr potentially thwart your plans. Uh, and there's other things to do. So if you wanna do other stuff, you can do it. Always, if you have a dice that you can't play or don't wanna play, you can put it in the cantina and just get two water. It's sort of like a, um, yeah, I'm gonna play against an Autonoma Dave, Gator Dave. Yeah, so I will play against their score and they have a bunch of ways to score points and I'll talk about that in a minute when I get to it. <coughs> so those are the action spaces you can deploy your dice to. There's a couple restrictions to play a laboratory. Both those dice need to be the same. So like a pair of twos, a pair of threes, whatever. This one I can only play one die here and then I would be able to recruit from the different slots based on the die roll that I played. One, two, three, four, or five, or six. Um, I think there's, there's another restriction up here to play different dice. Uh, the control room has three slots. Okay, so let's go back to the control room. The harvester is your little hexagon thingy. I'm blue, so that's my harvester. This is the AI's harvester. And what they do is they move around the board and they harvest resources. So depending where you, if you touch, if you land on a space with water, you would pick it up. If you land on a space with crystal, you'll pick it up. However, at the end of the turn, after you've done all your actions, you will do a harvest phase. Harvesting is where you get more resources. If you get more resources, you can do more stuff, right? Um, notice that on these boards, more so towards the outer edges, there's higher numbers of water and energy and algae, algae or crystals. So you can move around the board and you'll start harvesting things. There's even a dice harvester right there. You can get more people. Um, and the AI will start taking away some of this stuff. So you have to go quickly if you want to grab some of the good stuff on here. You're probably only going to move a few times. In this. Although in my first game, I did not move much, but because um, it's expensive. It costs either two power or 10 water to move. <laughs> Who wants to go to a cantina for just water? That's like going to the barbecue joint for a salad. Yes, I agree. It's sort of a it's sort of a um, consola consolation prize. There is also a place called the headquarters where you can go, and you will be able to if you're the first one in there. You can rotate a die. So if I throw a one in here, and then it doesn't really do anything. It's, it does give you two items or five water, and items are pretty. That's how you get points in the game. Um, and then when, when the next turn comes around, you get to action these dice immediately before everybody, um, before everybody else goes. So it's sort of like a super planner. I guess that's what a headquarters does. <clears throat> I want to check a rule on the headquarters real quick. Um, give me one sec. So in the next round, I would be able to action this die immediately. So I could go, if I put a one there, I immediately go to, a, I could turn it to a six and then put that six 
somewhere else on the board. That's before anybody else gets to do it, do anything. So it's sort of that. So that's sort of a mitigation to the. I'm gonna get screwed on a turn, you know. By if there's nothing there, I might go to the. And, and the headquarters bonus is actually pretty good. Two items or five water is actually not such a bad. Um, it's not such a bad um, reward, especially the items. Because um, some of the items are really cool. All right. Um, I think that's probably enough for me to get started. So, and then I'll, I'll show you how the AI works. Um, so let's start. So first turn of Circadian's First Light. New tech. Item cards may be, this is our event. New item cards may be discarded to change your dice to any value. One card per die. That's actually cool. So if I, if I don't like what I rolled, I can spurt an item to change it. Oh, I think I start with something. Yes, I start with some resources. Let me give me one sec. That would be a, a bad way to go if I didn't have my starting stuff. Be like, what am I doing? Okay. I get 10 water, two algae, two power. 10 water. So I've been loving these because drawing 10 water, these are nice little, um, you know, counter cards. 10 water, two algae. I didn't notice those till halfway through the first game. So this mitigates a little bit of the fiddliness of the game. Okay, so action done, plan. I now plan my turn. Okay, so here's my roll. I got a one, three, and a five. And the way I've been doing this is, since I'm very short-term memory right now, while trying to stream and explain and play the game, I will write down my, what my plan is, because by the t I found by the time that I got to the next turn, I sort of forgot what I was gonna do. Okay. Some paper. You probably wouldn't need to do this if you were just playing without trying to stream and manage all the things that a stream happens. Okay, so I've got a five, a one, and a three. I think I shall, hmm, what do I wanna do? Okay, let's look at real quick at what's out there. I got no pairs. Um, okay, so this is another farm that lets you put a die in there for algae or power. That's not super exciting. This is a farm that just gives you stuff, it gives you three water. This is a farm that just gives you one power every turn. Let's look at our upgrades. This upgrade doesn't do anything, it just gives you two victory points. This one lets you five water. I think that's pay five less water. Maybe see, let me see what that does actually. Hadn't seen that one yet. So any action I take from that garage will cost five less water. So that's like a discount when I run out of, when I, when I, if I, if I go out of here, five less water, that's actually pretty good. And this one lets me flip a die. So if I put a one there, it will flip to a six or two to five, whatever. That's pretty cool too. Um, another thing I like to do is potentially start moving because moving around the board is, is great to start getting more than just the very basic resources. The basic ones are a power, an algae and a water. So you definitely, it feels like you definitely wanna move right off the bat here just to get something better. Um, maybe I'll do something different than I did the other night. I think I will move. And the way movement works is you, based on the number you place, is the direction in which you move. So I think I wanna go, maybe I wanna focus on power this game. Not sure. Water is so tempting to get just tons of water. I think I do like this first space here, this water with the six plus six water in it. So I wanna to go to the right, which is a two. I don't have a two, but I do have a one. And when I deploy, so I'm gonna go harvester will be my first action, which is technically the control room. So I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna make that a two with my plus minus ability. Now, if I wanna go into this second uh, action, I will have to pay an algae. So I kinda like to put that up there just to kinda remind me. 
Um, let's uh, while we're here, let's look at our items. Maybe we can start shooting for some stuff. I'm supposed to discard two of these. Um, I've got the soda supply, which lets me subtract five water from anything I do in the depository. That's pretty cool. Soda supply. Is that like caffeine? Um, alien relic is. I get a victory point per alien representation. I think that's probably for every die I have here. I'll have to double check the alien relic. I'm not sure. That's end of game scoring. The Karvik is also looks like an end of game scoring. I will. It's worth seven, and then I'll get one point per farm. The ledger. Every time I go to the depository, I get an item. That's pretty nice. And I've got the archive. Okay, I've got I've got some interesting bookkeeping things here. Archive, one point per two items. That's probably items that I've played. This is probably end of that's end of game scoring. Um, these are so, kind of interesting. So maybe I do this one. Try to shoot for that one um, because that'll give me a power. That'll give me an item every time I go to the uh, depository. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, the alien relic is good. It's worth eight points just by itself. So I'm going to try to I'm going to try to build that. And that's worth that costs three of everything. Uh, what else do I want to keep? Maybe the soda supply. Yeah, let me give the soda supply just for you know, thematic interest. Okay, so I'm not I'm not keeping these. Now remember, I can discard these items this turn to change the dice value. Okay, so I'm gonna be going that way, which lets me pick up that water. I could move again. Oh no. That would be like everything I have. Two at power and ten water to just move twice. Maybe that's maybe that's good. I also like these farms. The farms are nice. And I don't have a pair, so I'm not even gonna look at that. That's expensive. It's two energy and ten water. I need a way to get more water. Hmm. Maybe I will just farm, because a five is pretty strong for farming. So I put that there. And maybe I use this for farming too, just to get a little something out of it. If I put a die here, it lets me add three to any of these dice. So, but unfortunately it doesn't go higher than a six, so I can't, that doesn't really help me. Maybe I go here and get energy out of it. Then I don't spend my algae by flying, going out an extra turn. Kinda wanna get a farm, but I don't have the pair. I can't I can't make a pair with what I've got right now. Okay, so I'm just harvesting. I'm going to the harvester and then I'm going to the control room. So that's my that's my turn for the first turn. Okay, so now I'm done planning. Execute. The headquarters uh, anybody in the headquarters would now play. Gosh, I wonder if this is worth going to headquarters. Maybe I just do this and get five water. And I could flip it to a four. Rather than one energy. Hmm. I think I, I think I will do that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the headquarters. As soon as I actually... Oh, I actually don't... I have to pay to send him out there. Um, send that worker out. So I don't know if I want to pay one algae for five water. Although one algae for... Oh, man, that's tricky. Let's do this. That'll give me an extra power to play with. It's not the best move. I think. Okay, well, that's that. So... Two scheme cards come out for the AI, so I will flip them up and explain them. So they will be using any dice they have to place in the game, they will put a three on it. So the first one, actually, does the AI start with anything? AI might start with something. The only, um, uh, the only um, currency the AI uses is crystals. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So what they will do in this order is they will go to the depository and spend a crystal. They don't have crystals right now, so he can't do that. Second thing he will do is go to the academy, and looks like that's open, wide open for them. So they will take the three and put it in the three slot. So if I had planned to go there, I would now not be able to. They also get two dice for that. So that, oh, I read. 
That is that turn. That's their first action. They do two of these cards. So they will play a six. They don't have any crystals, so they cannot negotiate. I'll explain how the, the AI negotiates when it comes around. Oh boy. They do have dice and they can place here. They have the, f this is coming out as a six, so they do have a spot there. And they get two more dice. This is bad. Okay, so that's the AI's turn. They've taken their two scheme actions and they've gotten themselves a crap ton of dice. So which means they're gonna get a ton of crystals. Okay, now I do my actions. So if I hadn't forgotten, which this is a pretty basic one, but if I had, I would go back and look at my, <laughs> look at my paper and remember what I did. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and spend, I'm gonna spend two power, I think, for this one. I spend two power? Yeah, I spend two power. Now you know what, I'm gonna spend the 10 water. I'm gonna keep the power. So I'm spending 10 water. And I'm gonna move on a, I remember I flipped in, I used the two, so I added one pip to that. I think the game just says to, for you to keep that all in your mind. I kinda like to flip to the two, um, just cause I, then I can remember what I did. So I move on the two. I forgot something. Back up, let's back up before my turn is, uh, is done. Um, the alien, the AI, will move first. So I will actually have to draw a third card. Actually, no, they move off the first card. Apologies. So the first card we drew here was that one. Nope. What was the first card? Oh, sorry. Put them on the bottom. First card I drew was a three. That's right. Yeah. Um, they will move on the board now, and they will go in the direction of the three. So, and he, the way he works is he just, he just motors until he hits the edge of the board or a crystal. So, and then he claims that crystal. So that would affect his turn. So let me, hmm. You know what, let me just pretend that that's what happened because I don't want to back up too much. But basically having this crystal would have let him do this power. Maybe that, yeah. Maybe that's right, let me, let me undo that. So he, instead of getting, Remember I said he would, he would have skipped this phase? He will not skip this phase. So he would spend that crystal that he gained. Sorry for the retcon, kind of disappointed that I didn't catch that. Um, and he would put a three on the depository. So he basically eats up slots here for the cost of a crystal. So that's a little better for me because otherwise he would have gotten four dice. Okay, that's fixed. That doesn't really affect me. So now my one became a two, remember that? I paid my two, 10 water, I'm moving this way. I pick up any water I run over. So I'm grabbing these three. If I have any complaint, it's about dropping, picking up the little pieces. They're nice though, I like the shapes. Um, okay, so that's my first action. So that's my action, that's all I did. Player action's done. Now we go into the harvest phase. Uh, all the dice would return. So, well, first we harvest. The way you harvest is you look on the board or on the map and add that to what you're harvesting in your, um, on your research, on your engineering board. So I'm gonna get six water, and remember I was gonna put the five here for water. So I will get 13 water total, and three on the power line gives me one power. I think I would have done that differently. So how much, uh, what was it? Seven and six is 13. So there's 10 and three more. So I have 16 water now. No, three, six more. I have 19 water. And three power. Okay, so that's first print. Now I will, Harvest, return dice, all the dice would come back off the board. This one stays here permanently. This one comes back to me. These come back. The dice for him go in the slot. He gains gems now. He gets two gems because that's where this, he has so many dice. He's like, oh, I'm so strong, it will gain gems. So the 
the Zhao character has got him two gems. Okay, that's the end of the harvest phase. Now we rest. If the if the AI had two dice or less, it would gain up to three. And it shows you that sort of like what's above here. So it's either gonna be one or two dice depending on, and if it had zero dice, it would gain three. I am now also gonna gain a die because of my special ability. We're at the end of the turn. So now I have four dice to play with. Okay, that's the first turn. Any questions in the chat room? Hopefully that was understandable. <laughs> I'm gonna look up what this alien relic does. Now it's nice that every single every single equipment card is explained in the rules. So alien relic, gain one point per die you have actioned at the negotiation board. So every dice I have placed here during the game will be worth a point. Assuming I build this by the end of the game. Interesting. Yes, it's a pretty interesting game, Jared. I really enjoyed my first play. And we'll see how the second play. Something I could have done, I could have, this, almost having too much in my brain, I could have discarded a card to make a pair, to make a pair of threes or a pair of sixes or something. Um, I probably should have done that. I feel like you have to take advantage of like every little thing in this game. What's a good score? Well, you're playing against the AI and I scored last night, uh, I don't have my paper, but I think I scored around 50 something and the AI scored 70. And I'm playing against the standard AI. And all really that does is it changes a little bit of what's underneath these little upgrades and the scoring. Okay, let's go into a new turn. Time to move. Ignore all water and power costs when actioning dice at the control room. That is great. So if I move here, I don't have to pay the costs, which is quite expensive. So I think I probably will move here this turn. So now I plan. That's a lot of ones. I think this time I'm probably going to go to the headquarters with a card. These are not good. I really wish now I had this, had the power from previous turn to change the dice values. Ones are tough. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? A pair of ones builds a farm. That's pretty cool. So it's just so I don't forget. I have to spend an algae here. Uh, let's see, maybe I will, I, I can't even go here. I don't even have two algae to spend. So I definitely need more algae in this game. So let me start harvesting algae. So I will go put my four here, will get me three algae in the farming phase. And I, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna actually put a dice here to make this plus three. So this is a seven, but it goes up to six. So that's basically, it just pumps up that number. It pumps up all the numbers accordingly. Um, I wish I had one more die to put there, um, but I don't. Um, I think that's my turn. Do I wanna do, let me look over, is there anything else real quick? I don't think I do. I think I would like to try to get algae built up but I don't have, there's no, I like these permanent farms because you just, it, they just keep generating things every turn, but they don't give you a lot. I definitely want to move. I mean, this is 12 water. That's pretty nice, but I'm going to need algae. So maybe I want to go down here. This, oh yeah, I can't do that. I can't, I can't afford it. If I want to build the farm, I can't, oh no, I have two. Oh, I don't, but the two algae is really hurt me right here. The two algae is really hurt me. Hmm. So underneath these AI tiles are extra bonuses for him. He'll get extra crystals. He'll get a di an extra dice. So uh, makes him just operate quicker. Oh man. Hmm. I wish I had algae. <laughs> I could potentially, no, I could, I could trade for algae, but that would require another die to go to the market. Just think I can't do it this turn. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 
wish I could take advantage of that three, for, that free three, the free movement. I feel like I should, almost at detriment, to not building another farm. We got. What do you think, Jared? I could. The thing is, the ones are just so deadly. I think I. I think I got to stick with this. The pair is un, unforgivable. I don't have enough algae to place a third marker. Third worker. Okay. What do you think? Anything? Tough choices. Exactly. That's why I like this game. Okay, let's just go with it. Um, okay, so I planned. Let's do his orders. Uh. If there was cards in the headquarters, they would work. Otherwise, we get two scheme cards. He will move on the four. The four is down and to the left. That bumps him up against the board. He does not move. Then he will try to go to the depository, and he will take. He will play a four at the depository, and that costs a crystal. So he spends the crystal. He spends the four. Takes up another slot. He takes these up based on the number, and then goes just top to bottom. So that's his first action. Second scheme action is the same thing. He'll go to the depository, spending a crystal. Puts a four, another four out there. So I, he's eating up the slots. I meant to say, when you go to the depository, you get to use these, you get these one-off special abilities. They either can move, the, move your uh, harvester, you gain an extra die, or you get two items. So those, when you do the trade item thing, you get a little bonus out of it too. Okay, that's his, that's, his, uh, that's his move. Now I do mine. Well, go into the farm. I'm going to um, discard that cost. Now the question is, do I want algae power plus three water plus, three, plus one energy? Plus one energy seems pretty nice. I think this game starves you for energy, so I will take this and plant that into the farm. So that's basically plus one energy next turn on every turn. Okay, so moving on, that's my actions, done. We're doing the harvest. I get, I didn't move, so six water, and I'm gonna turn this into algae, which make it a seven, which is technically a three, so I'm gonna get four algae and six water. I have a little bit of algae to spend. Six water, so I'll just turn this into a 10. I have 20, five water, and six algae. Oh, I get that too. One energy. That's what I like about this game. You immediately get effects from things you do. So the AI does not get these abilities when they place the dice. They just plop in there. It just, it's, just a, it's just a method for them to take slots. He's also going to score. That's one thing that was interesting. The, the, the AI will score one point per pip in here. So he already has 11 points in the, uh, in the depository. Okay, that's two turns. Um, I could potentially, this turn, I'm thinking ahead a little bit. I could potentially negotiate with one of these aliens. I could potentially negotiate with one of these aliens because this guy takes energy and I have four. So I could go here. These are pretty strong negotiating with the, with the aliens because you get a perk out of it when you do. And plus it's end game points. Um, and then one of the perks, all the perks are here. You can gain a farm, you can gain an upgrade, you can move your harvester, you can gain an extra dice, you can gain a crystal, you can take, gain two items. There's a rule about also overloading these aliens. I, I forget the term, I think it's like failed negotiations or something. If you, in a row of alien dice, if, they, if it's greater than or equal to eight, you cause a negative, which basically like kills something here. Oops. So that's, you don't want that. Um, or if you play an, a number that has already been played into this location, then that also causes a penalty. A setback is what they're called. I'll explain that more when I get to it. Okay, so that's the end of my uh, harvest. 
returning the dice. The AI doesn't have any dice out here. He's down to two dice, um, which means he will gain a die. He gains gems now based on where his dice are, but he doesn't have any dice in the gem spots, so we've skipped that. I get my dice back. Um, he gains gems here, but he doesn't, and then he rests. So since his last die is here, he will gain one. Remember what I said, he always has three. I don't get any. Okay, moving right along. Let's go to the next round. Negative, drought. Discard one item card after harvesting or move back one space on the planet. Move back one space on the planet. What does that mean? Huh. I guess I would move back to the back of space from where I came. I don't know. How many aliens are in the box? There are four. There's easy, standard, hard, and insane. Uh, their schemes, though, are pretty much all the same. It's just the scoring and some of these uh, hidden actions change them up a little bit. Gain one die at the end of the turn if I have less than five. So now I have five dice. So maybe I should have taken another spot for... For I feel like I'm this the way this character plays is almost for a farming strategy. And I start needing to thinking about maybe I buy one of these items. Huh. Maybe the ledger. That's probably the easiest. Five water, three three uh, energy. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Okay, so. I could trade with the aliens. I have five. I need six algae minimum. Maybe I should have taken an algae farm. Oh, let's see what we got here. Okay, that's a pretty interesting roll. Two fives, three, three, two threes. That's a lot of dice. Okay, so I think a lot of having a lot of dice requires a lot of algae. So maybe I should go. Ooh, that's a great farm. That's gonna give me two algae a turn. Is there an upgrade up there? No. Maybe I'm gonna go get that farm. That's probably the first move. Farm. Writing that down. Second move, I don't, I only have, I do have more algae to spend. I have four more to spend. So I could put two fives out here. Could do that if I so wanted to. However, a five on the if I wanted to move again would put me basically right back. I want it to be a, a two. Ah, uh, here's what I can do. I'm gonna move these over. I'm gonna move on the harvester with a two. Remember, I can add a pip to that. That's what I'm gonna do, and that's gonna cost me another two algae. Algae, algae, algae. Okay, so that'll be the farm. And then I think I'm just gonna farm with these. Because these are great for farming. This is completely different than the game I played the other night. <clears throat> I could, yeah, I think doing all the actions on a turn is hard because there's no algae discounts here. I don't have any algae discounts. I'm gonna spend algae a lot. Um, maybe next turn I try to go get another upgrade to upgrade one of these. But for now, I think this is the move. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my harvester first. So I'm going control room first, and then I'm gonna go to laboratory to make a farm. Okay, that's my turn. Now, execute, nothing in the headquarter. Two scheme cards from Mr. Zhao. Is it a mister? I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, so he's gonna place a one into the green system. So now, this is how this works. So what you do is, is he gonna, he's gonna to try to place a die into this trading um, negotiation spot. And what you do is he, he's, he's, he will spend as many crystals as possible. However, the minimum amount he needs is two, meaning this is, that's where he could go. And that determines what row he would play on. So if he had, let's say, five crystals, he would play on this row. And if it said the green, he would put the die here. 
It's a little tricky to figure that out, but I did figure it out from the rolls. So he doesn't have any crystal, so he can't even take that action. Well, back up. I don't know why I forget, I'm forgetting this. He's got to move. He moves his harvester on the one. So he will move to this crystal and take it. That's based on that one movement. So now he does have a crystal. However, he needs a minimum of two. So he will skip that action. Next, he will go to the market and gain a crystal. So he puts a one in the market and he always goes to the left first. And he gets a crystal. That's his action. Here's second action. He's going to play to the Jarvex and he's got two crystals, so he's going to spend them. And he's going to put a, one, a five there. So he puts that in the first slot because he spent two crystals. If, just for instance, if the green guy was there, he would put it here, right? It just determines the row. It's kind of an interesting little, little system. Okay, that's his two actions. Now I do my, my actions. First action, control room. I'm going to flip that to a two, make that a two with my power from here. And I move right to the right. I think I, I'm kind of going the same way I went last night. I thought I was trying to do something different. I may want to try to go get more algae. Maybe I'll go. Harvesters do not block each other, so you can play on top of each other. Can land on top of each other. Okay, and then my second action was to get another farm. You know what I forgot? When I bought that farm, I should have spent 10 water. Back, so I forgot about the cost. You do have to pay for the farm, they're not free. Cool, at least I had the 10 water to do it. So now I can play three, what is it? That was a lot of algae to go out the door there. I could pay three algae or 10 water. I don't have three algae, so I'm spending another 10 water. Boom, easy come, easy go. I think I want the one, here's this one, that gives me two algae. That's, yeah. Now I've got three water, three water, and then an algae energy farm. I might want that at some point. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the harvest phase. I get 12 water. I think I'm going to turn that into algae. So that's, let me get the 12 water first. Yeah, 12 water. That's a 10 and 2. Then I will get the low, uh, 3 algae from that one and 2 power from that one. 3 algae, 2 power. I've never said the word algae so much. Cool. Now I'm getting lots of power. I have the power. Okay, and then I get another power and another two. Algae. <laughs> Say algae another like five times fast. Um, cool. Done with that. Moving these over here just to get them out of the way. All right. Um, that is the harvest. Return dice. His dice come back. That's it. My dice come back. Um, he da -da. he will gain gems. He doesn't have enough dice to gain gems. He spent dice this turn. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because this one does not come back. Okay, so he will gain a die, though, to get the three again. And, yeah. that Actually, that happens next. So, return dice and gain gems. He didn't get any gems. Now we go to the rest phase. He will uh, gain that gain that dice. I don't gain anything. Okay, I have a lot of water. Looks like I have about 20 water. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have 20 water. Let me get rid of all of this. Cool. Any questions, anybody? Hey, Luza Palooza. Thanks for the thanks for the raid. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? What were you guys playing over there? Hello, thanks for coming. Hey everybody. Wits and Wagers, that's a good one. That's a great stream game. I think we might have to try, we have to try that on the BGG channel this week. I think we have a copy over at uh, the studio in LA. 
Isn't that weird to say? The LA studio? This is the Dallas studio. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Alusa Palooza. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good weekend. I appreciate everybody stopping by. I'm playing Circadian's First Light, which is a solo game. Uh, came out last year to minor fanfare. I think it's pretty cool. So um, let me jump back down into it. I'll try to explain a little bit. Where do we get those cool meeple holders? Um, so we do get these. I'm, I'm guessing you're talking about these. These are from the Board Game Geek Store. Is that what you're talking about, Slivers? Hey, Slivers, how are you doing? Doing a solo game here, uh, Circadian's First Light. These are at the Board Game Geek Store. Unfortunately, the store is currently closed, but we would appreciate your business when we reopen, hopefully soon. Uh, may, may I ask you a Forgotten Island question if, you, if you've played? I could try to answer the Forgotten Island. It's been a long time since I played it. Fire away. I'm going. I'm going into my next turn of uh, turn four of eight, so I'm halfway through now. Starting halfway through. Clear skies. You know what? Did I? Ooh, I have to dis. I've... Sometimes I forget these things. Discard one item card after harvesting, or move one's back space. You know what? I'm going to discard a card. I think I'm going to discard this ledger. You know what? I'm going to discard the soda. I'm discarding my soda supply because when I harvested, I had to discard a card. Thank you for the drought game. Hello from Sweden. How are you doing over there? Staying healthy, I hope. Okay. Uh, action. Event. Clear skies. Ignore all algae costs from garages. Nara gains three algae. I'm not Nara, so... This is good. I will ignore all my costs here this turn. That is fantastic. Sliver says, do you remember a rule if the pilot could re rescue people from fools landing at the end of the game? The current rule book does not state it, but both Dave Luza and I swear that was there at one point. Ooh. That is a good question. I, I have to say I do not remember that rule. I don't remember that rule. It's been so long since I played the game. Forgotten Island. Uh, I mean, if it feels right, it's right. You know what I'm saying? Matt, I don't think Matt Leacock makes rules that like specifically make you not have fun with that action power. You know, That's the way I would play. Okay, so I need to plan. Let me roll. Hey, Lizapalooza. Thanks for the raid. How are you? Okay, I got carte blanche here. I can send out all these workers for nothing. Okay, first of all, this is a lot of workers. What do I wanna do? I don't have, I potentially might wanna build this ledger. I need some more items too. So that's five water and three energy. So let me earmark that. I need a die to go there. Now, the cool thing about this is there's still a lot of a lot of spaces are open. If I play a five or a six here, I will get a free movement on my um, on my uh, harvester. So I think I will play a five there. That will be my first move, I believe. I may reserve the right to move that down. I feel like I should get another farm. I think I should. Then I will be set for farms. Um, so, I can make, oh, that's my pair. You know what, there's my pair for the farm. This I'm gonna turn into a five with the power, with a plus or minus one. And I think I should probably go get a, go get a, um, a garage upgrade. You know what, I'm gonna get a garage upgrade. I'm gonna go get this garage upgrade, which I think is, Subtracts five water when I launch out of there. So I'm going to go there with that. That's a lot of money. That's more power. That's two more power. And then with the one, I need to, maybe I go uh, talk to the Lyrians. Yeah, 
With the, or no, the uh, the Zakaro. The Zakaro takes six. I'm not writing down my turn. I should write it down because I will totally forget this. Okay. First action. That's going to turn into a... That is going to turn into a five, and that's going to go to the depot. So I'm going to the depot first. Then I'm going to go to the lab. Then I'm going to go to the Zakaros and talk to them to get something. And they have a special ability, which is kind of sweet. And then this one... Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to make that one go to the lab. Or, sorry, to the headquarters. Is that a good play? Maybe. Okay. And then I'm going to go to HQ with that one. I'm not doing any farming. Sorry, I'm catching up, you guys, with the chat. Um, celebrating King's today, King's Day today in the Netherlands. Okay, is that fun? Hopefully, that, it sounds fun. Oh yeah, imagine the streets turn orange with people, but I guess there's not gonna happen. Is it canceled? Interesting. That would be fun. Cool. All right, so I wrote down my turn. I'm done with that. This guy's probably gonna screw up among all my plans now. I think this is the first time I ever have deployed all five dice. Okay, he's going to move his harvester on the one path, which is up and to the right. So he will go here and steal my crystal that I was about to take. So that's sort of mean. Then he's going to go talk to the Zakaro. Boo! <laughs> that's not good. I was going to go. There. Okay, you know what? He can't go there. He has to have at least two crystals to do it. He can't do it. That's good. And then instead, he will go to the market with a one. And he will take a crystal as his penance, or as his uh, penance, I guess. Um, that's not the right word. <laughs> I'm trying to find a word that basically he gets something for nothing. Um, okay, done with that action. Second action, he's going to go to the depository with a five. That not good. That's not good. He costs a crystal. Man, he is sucking up to his depository spots. That's bad. Okay, I might be able to, to sort of recover from that. However, I will not be able to get to do the move I wanted to do. No, I won't be able to get the move I wanted to do. Okay, so he's done. Now I do my actions. This was going to go here. I was going to turn it into a five with my power, and I was going to plop it here. However, I can't do that. I don't know if I want another die because I can only hold five. Uh, although this dice will be staying on the board. So maybe I do go here and it just gets replaced, but it would get replaced anyway with this power. So I think I'm going to go here and draw two items. That's the power I'm going to take. And draw two items. And before I look at those, I have to buy my ledger. My exciting ledger I'm purchasing. Uh, it costs five water and three energy. So there's the three energy cost. And I need five water, which means four more water. Okay. I have built a ledger. Exciting. Is that an exciting item? <laughs> I'll put that over here under her. So I don't know if that applies now. Because I guess when I go to the depository, I would get a, an item, but I don't. I think that might be a little bit too back backtracking. So what did I get? I got sleep capsules, which is a dollar per worker I have, or point per worker. That's that's an end game bonus. And I got the Lyrian Scepter, which is ignore all setbacks. That could be useful because I might at some point cause a setback in this game. Okay, second play. That costs five and five. I need a farm. I'm gonna pay 10 water for that privilege of a farm. A lot of water. Plus three water or a dice spot. I think I'm going to take the plus three water. Take it here. Okay. I've built all my farms now. So if you build all your farms in this game, you get a seven point end of game bonus here.
that is a nice little bonus on the end. Um, you can overbuild on farms as well, as I understand it. So if some point in the end of the game I want to build a farm that maybe give me po gives me points, I could cover something up. However, I need stuff. Okay, so next. Good thing I wrote this down. Zakaro. Hello, Zakaro. I, in order to visit Zakaro, I need to pay six algae. That's a lot of algae. Two, four, five, six. However, I get this power. Discard X items cards to draw back X plus one item cards. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of... Hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of this alien relic and then draw two. This is an eight point card though. I kind of need that. This could be nine points here. Ignoring all setbacks. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one. Ignore all setbacks. Whatever. I even even after I just praised it. Oops, put it on the wrong deck. So I get to draw two. I got a Jeriac pump. Which lets me get five water when I go to the market. And the Jeriac Shield, which is two points per interaction with the Jeriacs. I'm calling them Jerry X because I can't pronounce J-R. It sounds like Jerry. Jura? Jerry Yuck. Okay. That is my turn. Oh, I got one more. Um, this one's going to the HQ. So as soon as I go there, I get two items or five water. I think I'm going to take the five water because it looks like I'm a little water poor right now. I have five water, so that turns into a ten. Great. And then when I play that, when I deploy that, as I mentioned, it'll flip. Um, cool, that's the end of the turn. Um, oh, no, not quite. End of my actions, now harvesting. Um, I didn't get the free movement, so that kind of sort of screwed me. I get 12 water from that. 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to get three water, two, three water, two algae, and one power. I do like that one power. That is nice. That was an awesome turn because I got that that this this bonus was really really nice. Uh, did I get three water? No. Don't forget. Three water, two algae, and one power. Okay, got it. Cool. That's the end of the turn. Return dice. This one comes back to him. That stays. These come back to me. That one stays. That stays. That stays. Okay. So since I'm Oh, let's see what he does. He gets a die. He has to always have three. And then resting, he will gain dice. He didn't get any gems. Um, yeah, okay. So he's done. I'm done. My end of turn power, since I have less than five dice, I will get one. I lost two dice that turn. Because I played a die here, I played a die here. Those are gone for the whole game, the rest of the game. Iffy power from the alien for that price. Um, yeah, it was iffy. However, it's an, it's endgame points too. And I the last time I played this, I barely had any points from this. You really want to... I kind of want to maybe try to get it up to the higher end, so I probably have to sit on algae production for a bit. I kind of wanted to just do it. I do have um, five power this turn, so I could go... Yeah. And this is an interesting one. It says make up the three market trades without, without actioning a die. And this one's secretly peek at two gem caches. I didn't mention this, but there's victory points under all these tiles that are sitting around at the edge of the board. I do want to try to go to the depot again to at least get something out of that ledger. I don't know. Some of these are... They're, they're nice, but... Hmm. Expensive. And I have no crystals yet. I have to get crystals off the board here. Okay, so that is the turn. I am turn. That's halfway through the game. Any questions in the chat? Take a second and take a break. One sec. I will uh, have a sip of water. I'm putting that so I try not to hit it with my hand. 
I have bad luck with water <laughs> and water bottles and such. So I'm halfway through the game. I have a bunch of stuff to build, especially the eight pointer. I need to get three crystals somehow. I could potentially go up into the right. This, if I get to this space, it generates a crystal every turn. However, I might want to go here um, to get an extra crystal and then go here. Like that'll be kind of my plan. My, that's my path of attack because I need the crystals to try to at least get this eight point card out. And it, now it's a nine point card. So yeah. All right, let's move on. Any questions? Uh, I guess there's nothing, nothing in the chat so far. Hope everybody's enjoying this game. I really enjoy it. All right, another f good one. Fresh hands. Gain one additional die when actioning a die at the academy. So if I was to go to the academy this turn, I would just get an extra die. However, I feel like my character just gets me those for free. I feel like that's almost a waste with her power. Okay. I will roll. I only have three dice this turn, so. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I have to plan first. Then I do my H cube move. Okay, I have six, a three, and a two. I do have to spend for algae this turn, so. I know I wanted to go up and to the right, so I will use this power to make that a one. I feel like I need an upgrade here at some point. That costs 10 water. I think I'll do that. Which one do I want, though? Do I want the victory point one, or do I want the five water discount? Well, it looks like I can only do the five water discount. You know what? And then I'm going to make energy. Because if I use the energy, I can eventually get into those characters um, and negotiate. Time out. I forgot two things. Two retcons. Thanks, Slivers. Really appreciate it. So when the when the Zhao character went here, he will just take an advancement. This is the this is what I forgot to do, Jared. When I go here, I get an advancement, so I get to take this gray uh, block. Oh, I could have moved. I don't think I can retcon that as much now. So I could move. I can take an upgrade. I can get a die. I get a crystal, and I can get two two items. I think I'm just going to take an upgrade because that will help me this turn. I'm going to take the one that's a five water discount for whatever I do. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So that's that's why you go here. These, these upgrades are pretty great. Now, if you overload them, you start getting setbacks, which you obviously don't want to do. So you kind of want to like get in early and then stop messing with them. Um, okay, so... What am I doing now? The two is moving. I'm going to the control room first. I'm gonna write these down, I already forgot. Control room first, then I'm going to the, um, where was I gonna go with that one? Goodness. Oh, I was gonna go get an upgrade. What came out? Oh, five water. Five water this game. I might go for the VPs. VPs, I, I need VPs in this game. This guy's a tough mother. Um, yeah, let's go to the foundry. I got 10 water to burn. And then I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to make energy there. Yeah, that's the play. That's the turn. Yeah, it makes it a lot better. I forgot about that. Oof. Yeah, it's a weak turn. It's a, Otherwise, it's kind of a weak bonus. And the AI does not get those bonuses, obviously. They just take them away. They just put them over and eat them up. Okay, so that's the planning. Now I execute... I do HQ first, so this guy can go, where do I want to put the one? It's actually, I'm probably going to flip it to a six. You know what? I think I'm just going to go here and get a free crystal. That happens now, out of play. So X equals six here, and I put a six. So it's six minus, it's X is six minus six, cost zero, water. So I get a free crystal. Boom. I like that. Okay. My planning is done. This guy's going to scheme. He will move on the six line. Oh, gosh. So he's going to suck my crystal away. He moves this way. He stops and grabs that. Boom. Zhao. He's one step ahead of me. Goodness. Do I want to still go that way? Maybe I'll go... 
Maybe I'll go to the right and get 20 water. Probably, okay. So he's now gonna go to the depot for one, it costs him one crystal. This is a six, so he takes up the six slot. That's his first action. Second action, he's gonna go to the depot again. Great. With a three, sets up the three slot. That's it. He's putting his dice on the board, that's for sure. Okay. Back to me. I do my actions. My first action. This was going to turn into a two. I was going to turn that into a one. Hmm. I still wonder. I, if I want to build up energy to get to the higher levels, I'm already at five energy. So this would give me an energy and 15 water. That's actually pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna turn this into a one, which makes me go up and to the right. That's gonna cost me 10 water. And I move there. As I said, you can share spaces. Second action, go into the foundry. Go into the foundry. It's a three, so I'm building this upgrade. Oh, it cost me five less water. That's fantastic. So I need that. That was nice. So that build that upgrade with only five water. And I will take this one since it's the three it matches that spot. So now I have another big water discount. If you build all your um, upgrades, you get eight points at the end. Normally, what you do is you look to the right, and that's how many points you get at the end of the game. So this would be three now, but I'm hoping to get it up to eight. Pure energy. I'm going to build energy. Okay, so that was my turn. Done. Harvest. What do I got? So under here, I've got... I have to pull it away. 15 water and an energy. Let me just grab that real quick. That's 10 water. Five. There's another ten. Grab my energy. I'm also getting two energy from this farm, three energy with the bonus. Two algae. Three water, three more water. Cool. I think I didn't miss that. Did I? Uh, did I pay that? Maybe I did. I feel like I've been putting them up there. Okay. End of harvest. I'm returning the dice back. Just this for me. Five, four dice back. Um, he gets, he's got no dice out there, so he doesn't get any dice back. Gain gems. He doesn't have any gems to gain. I don't gain any either. Resting, he will gain two dice because he needs three at all times. Okay, he's starting to run out of dice. I will gain one die myself because of my power with Rosalind Ashford. I'm at five. Cool. That's the end of the turn. Coming down to it. I think a couple more turns left. A few more turns. Okay. Hey, another great, another great green card. Spring clean. The laboratory only requires one die, and all foundry costs must may be ignored. Okay. Well, I'm going to the foundry. I've already got all my farms. I don't know if I want any more farming type things. Although there is a three point farm here that I could build over the top of one of these. Um, the foundry is basically probably where I'm going because that's going to be free, free, free. And there's two point, a two-point card and a two-point card. So I might, I can only go there once. There's only one slot. So that's probably where I'm going to go. What, how much power do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I could go there and just grab it. Can I get two power this turn? I could get two power this turn if I market it. That's potentially what I'm going to do. 
With all those sixes? Wow. Wowie wow wow. Okay. Maybe farm like crazy. Um I need two power. I can buy power in the market. I can trade three water for a power. That's probably what I'll do. I don't want to burn algae for four power. Four algae for two power. So I'm going to go to the market first. And I only need I only need one, two, three, four. So I'm at nine. I need two. But I probably want to get extra. So maybe I'll do four transactions. That lets that tells me how many transactions I can do in the market. So I'm gonna go to market. Water to power four times. And then I need to go to the foundry. I want that one. That's gonna cost an algae. And only five water. I might decide to pay power. No, I yeah, I'll probably pay five water when I get there. I think I got enough. And then, wow. Oh, I'm gonna go visit Delirians at that day. And that's gonna cost me two algae. Yeah. Great. Yeah, okay. I think that's the turn. Um, foundry, trade, negotiate. I think that's my play. Cool, all right. Um, now he goes, he's executing. There's nothing in headquarters, two schemes. He has a four, he's gonna go down into the left. So he's gonna go all the way down here. He stops at the edge of the board. Didn't get a crystal, but he did eat this water up. Then he's gonna go to the Geriax, but he doesn't have any crystals, so he can't go there. Instead, he's gonna go to the laboratory. Oh, here, so here's how he upgrades himself. Uh, Jared, if you wanted to see this. So he will take a four off the board. He only needs to place one dice here. And he will pop up his first pop off his first harvest upgrade. And he gets two points there. So now every turn he will automatically get a crystal. So that's his first action. Second action. He's gonna go to the depository with a six. Man, so much depository. Oh, he doesn't have a crystal. He doesn't have a crystal. Can't do that. Instead, he's going to go to the foundry. That is like... Boo. This is bad. This is the first time that the AI has really ever thwarted me. So he's going to go to the crystal, and it says plus... What is that? Is that one of these cards? So he takes another action. Golly. He's gonna to go to the to the Geriax, but he can't afford it. Oh man, he's gonna to go to the market and get two crystals. Okay, at least he didn't take my spot there because I would have totally wrecked my turn. That would have totally wrecked the turn. Wow. Okay, so I, I I'm yeah he boned me. The foundry is now blocked, so that is that kind of like boom. Okay. So I have to figure out something else to do with my four. I will maybe go get a crystal instead. Do I want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. So I'll go here. So I have to pay two water to get that crystal. Yeah, those, those sixes hurt me. Um, okay, so I got a crystal. I need three to build that alien relic. 
Uh, next thing I'm doing is I'm going to the foundry. Oh, sorry, the four was gonna go, my mistake, my mistake. The four was gonna go here. So let me undo that. And I paid two water, let me get that back. Just undo. So I paid, I'm going here, I'm gonna do four transactions. I'm gonna turn 12 water into three crystals. 12 water into four crystals. Sorry, 12 water into four power. Finally got it right, okay, power. All right, cool. Now, this was gonna go to the foundry. The two. I think I might just send it to the HQ. Do I wanna move? Can't move with a two. It's five less water. Man, this, this AI really, really hosed me this turn. Really did. Huh, a two can't even go, to, can't go to the depository. Man, I think I'm gonna send it to the headquarters. And get two items, maybe I get some items, more items to build. I got a Zarki P. <laughs> That's one point per two energy I have at the end of the game. And I have a Yexi, Yeki, <laughs> Yeki, Yucky which is one point per two crystals I have at the end of the game. I gotta build some of this stuff, man. That's the trick. That is the trick. Okay, um, that's gone. Then this five goes to the Lyrian, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna spend 10 energy. That's my big move for this game. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Cool. 10 energy spent. Eleven VPs of the any aim. I get an upgrade. I can move my car, move my harvester, I get a dice, I get a crystal, or I can get two more items. I think I'm gonna move the car. Harvester. I think I wanna how much time is left? I got two turns left. Two more turns. I think I will go here. And then I can make up the three market transactions without actioning a die. I need I need a uh, algae. Three crystals. So in order to build the alien racket relic, I need three energy. I've got it. I've got I need three algae, three water, and two crystals. I think I want algae. How much water top? Can you turn water in algae? It's three, three water for two algae. I will turn, oh, I'm not getting any water this turn, am I? I could get water here. Let's do some algae transactions here. So I, it's a three to two. So I'm gonna spend six water. I'm gonna spend nine water for, for two, four, six algae. Yeah, let's do it. Nine water for six algaes. What's the plural of algae? I think it's algae. Cool. Got it. All right, now that is my actions. Oh, yes, and I got the movement. Move that guy, yes, done. That's it, I did that, okay, cool. So I'm done with my actions. We're going into the harvest phase. I will harvest a crystal and a die. I will also harvest, I need water. Probably a little bit of water for just the last bit of the game here. Eight water. Maybe I should use algae for that for algae. So maybe four water. And eight, sorry, four algae, eight water. Yeah, let's do that. Four algae from the six, and then eight water. What a. Okay, got algae up the butt. 
Algae up the wazoo. I might not need algae again. You are probably correct. However, I'm going to... Um, I could probably dump it into this guy. I, actually, I'll use it to buy some of these items if I can still get them in there. Okay, cool. That's the end of my actions. I harvest. Uh, returning the dice now. Those do not come back. Uh, this one comes back to me. This one comes back. This comes back to him. This one comes back to him. Okay, so this one stays. Gain one die if I have less than five at the end of each round. I don't know if that counts as this one on the board. I will say it does count. So I do not gain an extra die. Um, that's a good fact question right there. He, however, gains gems for the first time. He has one gem out of that. Because he has three dice. Then we go to rest. He doesn't gain any dice. Should turn my phone over. <laughs> I've got my notifications off, but I kind of didn't want to put those on the stream. Um, cool. Uh, let's see what else here. I think that's it. That is it. Just remember if I go to the ledger, if I, I've only been there one time, so I have not really been able to use this. This game is tricky. Like you want to do everything. It's one of those kind of games for sure. You want to do it all. You want to do it all. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. Oh, yeah. So, the, yeah, the AI does get this, this gem too. Good point. That's from his upgrade. So now he is full of gems. He will probably come over here and just crush, crush out the rest of those spots. At least for the last, last two turns. Okay, second last turn. I think, right? Yeah. Hey, another green one. Spare parts. Item cards may be spent as four water or two algae. That's great. I should try to... I'm going to focus on building cards this turn. Only threes, fours, fives... Well, I can use anything. Three, four, five, or six to build, to build stuff this turn. And I can guarantee a build spot there. But dang, this is so much algae. Can I do another... Can I do... How much do I have? Four, five. I have 11. Not enough to get to that spot there. That would be pretty awesome if I could though. I don't want to distract myself. You know what? Did I do my full harvest? I did not. I didn't get this stuff. One energy. There's a lot of little things to remember in this game. One power, two LG, three water. Good thing I caught that. That will make the difference probably. Got it. Let me roll. Six one. One one three. Okay. The ones are not good. I try to get another upgrade here. These these upgrades. I'll try to get a one or two point upgrade. Yeah, I will go there for that. That will go to the foundry. I want to build something in the depository because I think oh, I don't have the crystal. I don't have that third crystal. Ah, how can I get a crystal first? I can buy one. I can trade two power for one. But I need three power for the card. Mm. Wow, I screwed myself up here. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Or I do that on the final turn. I build the alien rec the relic on the final round. Because then I'll have three crystals. Um, maybe I just go talk to the Zahard. Zacharo. <laughs> Zacharo. What, for 15? 3, 6, 9, 12. Or 12. But then I'm spending my... Spending that, but I will get it back. Man. Okay, this is the tricky part of the game, to try to min-max it. The foundry is going to take, you know what, if I go here from the foundry, I can't jump spots, but I can put another one. I can, that's the one there. That will need five less water over there. Q. 
can't build that thing this turn, can I? Two energy. No, nope, I can't do it. Can't do both. Okay. Three, six, eight. I'm going to do the eight pointer there. And I have to stay under eight or less, or I get a setback. So I probably want to play the three here. That costs two algae. I'm going to get some algae back at the end of the turn, so I will get, have enough to, to buy the alien a relic. Um, and then this is going to have to farm. I think I'm going to have to farm. Do I want energy? I'm going to get one energy. I'm going to get two algae. I need three of everything. Probably need algae. Okay. Yeah, if I go to the market though, I gotta spend algae to um, get crystals. And I don't have a lot of extra. I'd rather get another board thing on the board here. I mean, that's a big point point gainer. Okay, I think I did it right. I hope. <laughs> However, I do get to execute this headquarters, and I can make it a five. I wish I just had some water item. Something water and maybe a little something else. These are all so expensive. So I'm going to turn the five. You know what? I can turn the five into a, that and pay one water and get a crystal. That's cool. Now I have the three crystals. So I could have built it this turn had I been thinking ahead a little bit, but that's okay. I'll do it next turn. All right. First up, I am going. Oh, he's got to do his stuff. Three moves. A three goes down to the right. He can't do that. Blocked. Uh, he's gonna go to the Zachara, Z the Zuriac, and he's gonna spend four crystals. Insane. He's gonna put a three here. On the four line. And that was greater than or equal to eight. He just puts these over here. It doesn't really hurt him. Just doesn't really hurt him. He, he just pissed them off a little bit, I guess. Okay, that was his first action. Second action. He's gonna take the green spot. He doesn't have any crystals left, so he can't do it. He's gonna put a two in the market. <coughs> gonna t gain two crystals. That's his two actions. Done. Okay. My actions. First one, foundry. I think I need to take the foundry again. That costs five less water. So I'm just gonna dump five water. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Grab this guy, put it here. Okay. This one's going to, I didn't finish writing down all my stuff, of course. Uh, now I can't remember. The one, where was the one going? Oh, man, what an idiot. Where was the one going? Why didn't I not write that down? I cannot remember. Don't see. I, maybe I was going to go to the market. No, I wasn't going to go to the market. I don't recall. Hmm. Well, since I can't remember, God, I felt like I, I, I was so sure of the turn, and now I've lost it. I wasn't going to move. I wasn't going to get dice. I, wasn't, I don't think I was going to go. I can't get a crystal now anyway if I wanted to can't put in there it's going to it's going to the headquarters and I'm gonna get I feel like I should just get two more items or do I need five water I'm gonna get two more items I can spend items as water this turn which I should have done Zakaro lamp and the Zakaro flyer okay this one's going to visit the Zakaros and I can only do nine 
Oh, I could do more because I can spend cards as algae. Totally doing that. That is great. So I need 15 algae. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten. I need five or more. I'm not building that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. I don't think I'm going to build both those, but you never know. Okay. That was awesome. Okay. Did I do foundry twice in my head? Probably. That's why. It's a little too much for me. It's near the end of the game. There's quite a bit of thinking in it, which is fine. But, you know, I make mistakes. I'm human. Cool. All right. So I bought that spot for 15. This is 6, which is less than 8. I will gain a upgrade. I can get a dice, a, ch a um, crystal, or a item. I will get a crystal because I could potentially build that flyer. There's a car of flyer, could, which could work consider there. Discard X items to get drawback X plus one. I don't think I'm gonna discard anything, so I just get one. Pex. What is this? Oh, Grug. I was reading that upside down. Grog. One point per five water. Okay, well that's cool, but that's not gonna happen in this game. All right, that is the end of my actions. I now go into the harvest phase. I am going to get a crystal and a die. Crystals are worth points at the end of the game. They're just worth one each. And then I will go to harvest. Finish harvest. I got that. I'm going to get six. Wow, no. I'll just get more algae. I'm going to get four algae. I hope I'm not making too many mistakes, everybody. But I think you get the idea of the game. And then one energy, two more algae. God, could I go there again? And um, three water. Okay. Return dice. Did I forget to play that? I certainly did. Oh no, I played that last turn. That's not returning. Okay, and then... I think that's it. I think I have five dice. He gets gems, he doesn't get... just gets one. Then he gets his dice back. He's almost out. He's got two left. So that's it for him this turn. I gain one dice if I have less than four, but I, or less than five, but I don't have less than five because I think that counts, so I will not take it. And that is the round, everybody. Last turn. Reveal all hidden gem caches. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully I'm sitting on one that's pretty good. It's the worst one in the game. <laughs> four <laughs> figures. Well, let me put. Let me just reveal these. There's the six. I think there's an eight in here. Seven. I don't think I can get over there. Five. Six. Eight. So one, two, three. It's four moves to get over there. It's just impossible, unless there's some kind of special ability. But that's just, I think, not going to happen. Okay, so I zonked out on the gem caches. I will plan now. Three, three, 
one, two. Okay. I wouldn't mind to get another upgrade. I have the energy to do it. That could just, that will, if I get that, it'll go from five to eight and then whatever points I can get off that, a three or four one. Okay, so I'll make that there. That's gonna be foundry. Maybe I'll remember to write down my turn this turn. This guy can come out as a six. That would probably maybe go get a crystal. Or no, I need to come and build something. I'm just gonna build that right off the bat and just get it done so I can't be screwed with it. So that will be the market, the depot. Depot first. Um, three, 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 three. I have all that. So he'll go here. I'll get two more items because I don't think the dice will matter. Depot, foundry, with a three. I think I I think I gotta I'm thinking I'm just gonna go dump more stuff in here and take the hit. I have to. Can I do I have twelve? Two, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen algae. I could go there again. And if I go there again, unless greater than or equal to twelve, I if I yeah, if I play the three, it's gonna go there. It'll make it. Should have used the cards for the LJ. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12. 12 is all I have. So I'm not spending any there. The two and the one. I could go. Could I build another thing? So I'm building that. Oh, I need the three LJ. Forgot about that. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I could do the nine algae level. That'll be it. That'll be, that'll have to do. I could go visit him too for four. Could do that. Oh no, but I'm spending algae to do it, so I can't. Yeah, these guys sort of wasted. Wasted. Let's see how much water I have. Oop. Oh, I can't do that. I can't send them out. Yeah, they're just gonna sit home. They can't do anything because the algae, the algae cost is just too extreme. Yeah, this game has a lot of detail. Um, I wish I could zoom in on parts and pieces of it, but once you kind of know it, it's like you'll you just get it. Um, Okay, that's my planning phase. Execute. This turns into a six. So I can flip it. I'm going to go here. Get an extra die. Maybe the extra dice will... No, the extra dice doesn't do anything for me. And the two items won't do anything for me either. So I'll just get an extra die. Just do that. And then I'm building the alien relic, which is cost me three crystals, three water, three algae, and three energy. That's the alien relic built. Let's put those there. So that is worth currently eight points, but it's gonna be worth more than that at the end of the game because I'm gonna put another dice in there. Okay, that's my pre, that's my um, headquarters. Now two schemes come out from this guy. First one is a three movement. He's going to move on the three, which is down to the right. Man, I'm not... That's the most I've ever seen this guy blocked out of the two games I played. <laughs> then he's going to go to the Zakaros. Can he afford it? He can. Does that hurt me? That screwed me. He can spend three crystals. Boo. That's not good. Man, how, t how unlucky is that? He takes that slot with a three. Crap, Ola. Crapola. Man. Man, man, man. That sucked. That was another five points. Okay. Um, man. Oh. Okay. Going to the foundry. 
Oh wait, well, that was his only his first action. Thanks guys. Thanks dude. He's going back there again. Didn't mean crystals that we can't. So he's gonna go to the laboratory with one die. And he gets an upgrade. However, I'm just gonna give him another two points. And that unlocked uh, his power for him. Okay, that's his two powers. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I go to the foundry. Actually, I should go here. I was going to go here first because this gives me a five point discount. Whatever. Okay, go here, build this upgrade. Cost two energy. Do I spend energy or do I spend water? Spend in water. Ten water. Boom. Now, this three was going to go here and cost nine. And I don't have any. I can't do that. Oh, he uh, he takes away this. Oh, he didn't go over ten, did he? Three, six, nine. So he takes away one of these. Um, can I do anything with that three? I think I could build something. Yeah, I can. I can build grog. Nope. I don't have enough water. Out of water. Can't build the flyer. That was like the worst draw for sure. I can't go in. I don't have three energy. I don't have three crystals. I don't have four energy. I do have nine algae, but I can't go there. So that hurt. That was okay. Well, that's five points basically. Yep, that's not good. Okay, I don't think I can do anything else. I don't have any water, can't move. Moving's fine, I'm on the four. Well, this was sort of a disappointing ending. Don't think I can use this dice. Go into the cantina, everybody. <laughs> Drink it away. Drink the sorrow away. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Um, player actions done. Return dice, gain gems. So he will take back this die. Does he get three back? No, he doesn't get three back. So he doesn't really do anything. Gain gems. He gets one. That's like one extra point for him. And then uh, he'll gain a die, but whatever. That doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Let's score it up. So AI calling him AI. Zhao. Zhao. Yeah, crystals are BPs. Go to the market and change algae for crystals. Good good idea, Rainer. Or sorry. Reese of him. Sorry about that. Good idea. Okay, yeah, I can do two crystals. He eked out a couple points there. Good call. Nice little eke out a couple points out of the disaster that was the end of the game. Uh, can I do two? Oh, and then two energy can swap. Cool. All right, three points. That's not bad. Three, three instead of five is fine. We'll take it. So he gets a point. He gets all these VPs. So five... 9 is 14, and 5 is 19, right? 5, 10, 19. 19. Second, he gets a point per pip over here. Ugh. What do we got? 3, 7, 12, 18, 21, 25. I might be able to beat him. Maybe. Then he's going to get... He's going to go to the nearest gem cache. Oh, great. So he gets the eight. And then two, four, five. That's a modest score for him, I think. 
57. Let me double check that. 19, 14, 22, 27. Five, 57. I think I got him. I think I do. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I got him. Maybe I don't. All right. So I do. What's my score? Check the rules. Uh, negotiation board printed values. So I get thirteen plus eleven. Thirteen plus eleven is twenty-four. Items I have acquired. Three, eight, and then one point per. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Great. Hey, thank you for uh, stopping by, uh, IE Captain. I Captain. I Captain. Or LA Captain. Capitan. I'll get it right at some point. <laughs> um, items I've acquired, and then my harvester position, which is a four. The quality of my research base. Okay. So my upgrades are worth eight because I didn't quite get to. I did get to the end. So 8, 10, 12 for that. I built all the farms. None of them are worth points. However, I did get on that unlocked for 7. And then any gems I have, which I had 5. It's going to be close. I think uh, maybe, maybe about 5, 9, 11, 18, 23. 2, 4, 5, 6, 63 to 57. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. I eked it out. Did I get 25 on the negotiation? Did I miss it? Miss it? 13 plus 11 is 24. Yeah. Those gems did it. You're right. Three gem. Well, how many gems did I get at the end? Was it three? I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever. Cool. Well, that's pretty satisfying. Because I feel like I got screwed a couple times there. I, uh, I got screwed on the foundry. Although I made up for it. The, big, the one that hurt me was the Adner, where I got, he took the, the alien negotiation. Uh, I think I really like this game. I don't, I don't do solo games, typically. <laughs> um, but it's fun when people are watching, I have to say. So I really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you, Jared, for hanging out with me. It's like we're almost in the same room. <laughs> Although I could hear, I could hear your voice. I'd have to do your accent and be like, "You need to get those gems." That's not your accent. That's totally not what you sound like. <laughs> I apologize. Cool. So, uh, ooh, I just pulled my table. Um, so yeah, so this was Circadian Sir First Light, which is a worker placement dice dice worker placement game, which I love those kind of games. Um, playing against the AI, the standard AI, um, he got two upgrades, although he got the he got the second upgrade on the last turn, so he didn't benefit from it much. Um, he did screw me out of a few spots. I would say probably three or four, if I'm not if I'm remembering correctly. I did get the lowest gem cache on the board, so that was a little unlucky. Um, and what time what time did I start playing here? How long have I been going? Two hours. Now that's long, but I did explain almost the entire game. So if you're probably playing it yourself, you probably get this down to an hour or less. Yeah, the AI is really cool. I like I like the AI when when you have an AI that doesn't that adapts, right? Like if it can't do the first action, it'll do the second action. If it can't do the second action, it's third action. Um for me, the next difficulty level is the sweet spot of this AI. Okay, interesting. So I've got the standard AI here. I can f show you the hard AI. I think I've got the board here. So, Indra. Put my laptop down here. Um, so she would have scored two pl points plus. So she would have scored one, two, three more six more points here so that would have that would have beat me just right there or tied me and then that's one per pip that's the same that's the same 
So it would have been a tie had we done the other AI. Did I lose my... Oh, I lost my, my switch. Sorry, buddy. I'll be right back. Connecting back in. I, I closed the window when I closed the when I tilted forward the thing. Um, any last questions about this game? The fur third one, the next is oh the elite or the insane. Yeah, I think so. I think what I did wrong in this game. I don't know if I could pinpoint any one thing, but basically I felt like I had a ton of items, although they did cash in. Felt like I could have built a few more items if I had been paying attention correctly. Um, I have to say that point, like that part of a game for me is my weak spot. Like knowing, assessing all of the potential options, right? Like if I tried to build an item, like if I don't know what I have, if I'm not aware of what I can do, then it doesn't become an option in my head of what to do. Like I could have probably built a lot of more of those items um, and I didn't catch it, so maybe missed out on a few points there, missed out on a few powers. Uh, I think the market is very interesting. That is another wrinkle in the game that I probably didn't take advantage of enough where I could trade in. You know, I had 20-something I had water at one point. Could have maybe turned that into stuff that I could have used more. But I think there's definitely, like, the game is easy but hard, right? Like, it's an easy-to-teach game. Nothing here is really super challenging, but to do it all, to use all your abilities and all of your all of your options, um, is tricky. So it's a cool game. I think you should check it out. I don't know. I think it's available. Am I wrong? Does anybody know if it can be purchased right now? There's probably some on the Board Game Geek store, or the Board Game Marketplace, I'm sorry. That'd be the ones where people sell games on Board Game Geek. Um, probably on Amazon. I searched for First Light and a book, a book title came up. Uh, I've got. I've somehow locked myself into a touchscreen. I, I tilted the screen forward, and I've, I've changed the mode of this laptop. I don't see it available on Amazon. It is not available, at least on Prime. So it might be at the online game stores. Might be at your friendly local. Resvum. How do you? Resvum. Resvum has one of the best surprises I backed last year on Kickstarter. Uh, yeah, I think it's really. I'd be curious to see what the multiplayer is like. Um, however, and I'll go back to my earlier statement, is I'm not good at those planning games where there's conflict, right? Like pre-planning worker placement games to me are tough. Especially, I mean, I guess you can alter your plan, but your number is locked in, right? So you have to adapt. 54 on Amazon, okay. I don't know if it's available, I just did a search. Miniature Market has it, 45 bucks. Okay. There's a ton of pieces in here. There are a lot of pieces. It's all all nicely cut wood, painted nicely. I like the art. I know some people find it, it's a, it's a d divisive art. I, it reminds me of old video games. Like, reminds me of um, um, Masters of Orion for some reason. Although I wish it was a little more Masters of Orion y, but it, I think it looks like kind of that. Um, I feel like getting the farms early was good for me. Um, I don't know if these farms, yeah. Okay, so the, I, the oh man, there's farms where you have to put a six in there. How does that work? Oh, it's a crystal farm. So there's some farms where you could put a six in there. Create crystals, that would be nice. I feel like that would unlock some potential, you know, purchasing of items and things. Because I I, I got snaked out on all the crystals on the board from the AI. Well, um, I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough of Circadian's First Light. I had a good time playing it. Thank you for people in the chat hanging out and um, 
giving advice and helping me correct mistakes. I suspect there's probably more mistakes in here to be found. I know I had to rewind a couple things at the beginning. I apologize for that. Um, there's a lot going on, plus talking, plus that's not my normal uh, playthrough way, right? Um, but I appreciate everybody hanging out. Um, and then if there's any last questions, I'll hang on for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to get going. I think I'm going to try... Robinson Crusoe next. Actually, if you want to write me, um, if you want to tweet at me, uh, at Aldi on Twitter, if you want to suggest some game or write me at Board Game Geek, I'm username Aldi, A-L-D-I-E. Um, I will take that into consideration. If I can get the game, I have quite a few games here from Last Essen. If there was anything from Last Essen that you think you want to see, I, oh, man, I need to write down my list. I took a whole bunch of them back from the library and they're sitting here and I need a picture and I need to post a list so I could prioritize. Um, but Robinson Crusoe is pretty high. I got the new Robinson, the, I think it's an expansion or a new standalone. I can't remember from Essen. Um, that's here. Uh, I also have a game called Zona, which looked really cool. I got a game called Victoriana. I've got, the fleet dice game. What size is this box? Um, it's a little smaller than what I would call a standard Cosmos box. Looks like more like, like an eight inch by eight inch, maybe 10 inch by 10 inch. That's more than 10 inches. Watch my thumb, it's like, that might be a 12 by 12. And it's um, nicely textured. It's got the linen finish box front. I can go through some of the characters, actually. Let me um, let me do that real quick, and then I'll, I will uh, call it a day. So I picked the Roslyn, because I I, when I went through the other characters last night, I really and liked the look of that one, plus the power is pretty cool. Um, let me uh, zoom in here. Um, okay, so what we got here? Sable Lassimi. Lassimi. You can move your harvester to an adjacent space at the end of harvest phase. That's pretty cool. I might, if I play this again, I'm going to play that one because that lets you move around more. That's really neat. Um, Lysias, Lysias, James. You may treat all negotiation setbacks as positive effects. The one I played last Friday night, I used this character, and it was okay. I only benefited off the power one time. So that was, a, I felt like a little weak. It's a little hard to go in here, so. Akira Hope, you may always treat ones as twos and sixes in your, ones and twos as sixes in your farms and at the mining camp. That is pretty cool. That would be like a mining, mining farming strategy kind of character. Uh, Naira Soul, ignore all algae costs from the garages when actioning dice from your research base. That's cool. That is awesome, actually. I feel like that out al this the algae setback when you when you put when you send out workers is pretty harming. Not harming, but it, it's a setback, right? Like you have to deal with it. Dan Guatama, Guatama, gain one additional reward of different type when actioning dice at the repository. Sorry, depository. So when you go build items, you can get extra powers from that. I only built two items in this game, so maybe that would. That would put me down a different path of strategy to build lots of items. Uh, Jacob Oleander. Jacob Oleander. Gain one free upgrade from the foundry when actioning dice at the laboratory. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you get an upgrade from the foundry when you build a farm. That's awesome. That's like free. It's a free upgrade, which is 10 water, right? Or two power. That's awesome. That's cool. Troy Sullivan. Actioning dice at the negotiation board costs one less gem, two less power, and three less challenger. Okay, so that's a strong negotiating power. Um, probably not as strong as some of these other powers. And then obviously, I played Rosalind Alford, Ashford. Game one die if you have less than five at the end of each round. Cool. I like. I mean, I could see different strategies for all these characters. 
which I like in games, right? It gives you sort of... And so many items in the game. I only saw... I've only seen like a quarter of the items in this game. Like the deck is... I mean, I was... I don't even think I went through half the deck. And I know some of the powers... And I didn't see any powers that I saw in my first game. So they all maybe somehow got put to the bottom. But... Um, the... Uh, yeah, there, there was one there that made me get really cheap... I got real cheap um, farms last game, which was nice. I filled up my farms almost instantly. Uh, not instantly, but you know, pretty quickly. Yeah. I do. I do like this game. I think it's got a lot of cool potentials. Like, it just feels fun. A little, a little brain burning near the end. But that's fine. Whatever. Uh, in this game, if you don't explo ex exploit your characters, you, you are done. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to take off, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. I know we got some new people in here that I haven't seen before. Really, um, thanks for coming and hanging. We're going to be streaming on Tuesday afternoon of this week, coming at 10.30 a.m. Pacific. So that will be 12.30 my time. 1.30 East Coast. Right? 10.30, 12.30, 1.30, yeah. I don't know who lives in Mountain Time. Some some guys from U some people from Utah, I think, live in Mountain Time. <laughs> I don't know if you're here or still Rainer, but uh, that was a jab. Um, and if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel and you have Pritch, uh, Pritch, if you have Twitch Prime or if you have Prime Amazon, you can tie your Amazon account to the Twitch and you can click the little crown on the video and click that and sign your Twitch Sorry, assign your Prime account to the Twitch account or to our channel. It'll give us a subscription. You will subscribe to our channel for free. You won't have to pay anything. Um, and it helps us. So I uh, feel I should mention that before I take off here. But no obligations, everybody. Uh, yeah, I am in Texas. Do I play with others? Yes, I normally play with others. I don't actually solo game. This is my foray into the solo gaming universe. Uh, if you look back in our video history, you can see a few of me playing and trying to play some games by myself. It's uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone. Normally I have a weekly gaming group and we are not getting together these days because of the social distancing rules here in Dallas and uh, trying to stay healthy. Oh, it, you have to subscribe on the website? Okay, yeah, so if you're on the app, then it's a little harder to subscribe. So if you go to the website at twitch.tv slash boardgamegeektv, then you'll be able to subscribe a little easier. You can always subscribe with money, too, but that's not free. Um, anyway, thanks, everybody. I will um, be back. I might come back tomorrow, Monday. I might do something tomorrow. But for sure, Tuesday, with the, with the rest of the gang, Lincoln and Nikki out of L.A., uh, and I'm not sure if we're going to have anybody else on, but we will probably have somebody. So, uh, I hope everybody's well, stay safe. I'll see you next time.